the Karens, the Kevins, the public freakouts, the memes, the stupidity, the nonsense. You, you know what this is by now. It's completely stupid. The show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. And let's get into the video. If you're Australian host, I forgot that part. That's a very important part. I'm a very integral part of... The okay, I shut up now. <laughs> Here we've got a very uh, interesting reaction from a father here. So apparently what happened here is I don't know precisely what happened to get to this point, but apparently at some point this other guy swore at the guy in the car and well, here's what happens next. He's autistic. Do you understand me? You're backing out of me. Don't I'm 52 years old, you're a lot younger. I do have a problem. Yeah, somebody calling you out. There's a camera. I'm not coming out on me. I'm thinking you're gonna hit me. Do me a favor, drive away. Don't bully me. Why, somebody coming at you now? You Are big you man now, huh? Okay, I got a problem with you cursing in front of my kid. Uh, get, keep driving. He's autistic. He's autistic. You're autistic. You're autistic. What? What? Somebody challenging you now? You're not a big deal now, huh? Who's challenging? You're not a big deal now, huh? I'm 52 years old. Shut your alarm so. off while I'm trying to get this. I don't think so. You understand me? <laughs> don't you try to bully me around. I don't give a damn who's in the car. Yeah, worry about yourself. Come over here. You're up. Yeah, go walk away now, huh? My little boy in the car. I got an autistic child. You can tape it all you want. And this guy is trying to Don't know why him being autistic is a good reason to scream and shout and let it all out against this person for ultimately no reason. And correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not too experienced with this. I'm more experienced with the ADHD side of things, which is only like part way towards, part is on, from my understanding, kind of on the spectrum, but not quite autism. But I feel like that this, you yelling and screaming like this, and then in addition, those loud horns that everyone started blaring at you when you still were sitting there in the middle of traffic is probably going to cause more issues for your autistic son than what this one guy swearing a little would. I don't know. Is it just me who thinks that this was a bit stupid to go off about? Like, am I not seeing the issue here? I don't know. This just seems a bit dumb to me. Especially considering, like, yeah, he's going to go to school eventually. He's going to hear these swear words anyhow. <laughs> If he's going to have problems with swear words, it's going to happen regardless. And, well, you, just, you may as well let it happen, man. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Here we get dropped into a middle of an argument between and with a person and someone who I would personally call the ultimate Karen. Here's the clip. What's up, Cray Cray? You got something to say now? I'm right here. Go ahead and say it. Oh, I got some great new pictures of your life. Okay. Oh, are you going to put me on your website, your YouTube website? You like that? You're a celebrity. Oh, I know. You made me a celebrity, and I'm going to sue you for making me a celebrity. Well, Cray Cray, I have every right to video you when you scream on your property. Will Look you up the law. Court, you are videotaping me while I'm on my own land, and we will be in court. When you're screaming at me and my children and telling my kids to F.O., I have every right to video you. I'm a liar? liar? The video's are what record and say the truth. So you can call me all you want when you're up there on your property screaming my name and then I put the video on you and you get upset, then it sounds like you have issues. So again, here's another video of me trying to protect myself from my own property because Cray Cray sits there and says for the last, what, three years you've been suing me? So here's another video. It's about her screaming at me and my children all day long, and this is the only way that I can prove it in court that she is nuts. You have this no is proof that I died, damaged your children, Tiffany, and I will be doing my own podcast, Tiffany, and my life. 
You told me three years ago you were going to ruin me. Remember? Did you forget about that? No, I'm just going to sue you. We're going to go to court. You sue everybody, woman. That's what you do. Do you realize that you are evicted? We, we've got you for the vexation in California. You can't even file a lawsuit in California because you've sued so many people. You can't file a lawsuit in California. She can't file a lawsuit in California. So she moves to Oregon so that she can start suing. And how many you've lived here six months and how many people have you already sued and lost every case, by the way, every case you've lost. Boy, oh boy, you, your, your perception of winning is pretty crazy because Blue Pacific, you lost, you lost to Remax, you lost to Larry. Who else is, you, uh, trying to protect him from you. It's public. It's public. It's public, Cray Cray. They probably laughed because how many police reports have you already done here in this town? We will be in court in two months. I cannot wait. You sued that many people and lost in California that you had that you couldn't file any more lawsuits in California, so you move elsewhere and start filing lawsuits there. Good God, like how much money do you have to be continuously having the lawyers and paying them off for this, considering that you've apparently lost almost every single lawsuit you've made an attempt to do? <laughs> well, maybe you're representing yourself, and maybe that's the case here. It'd be funny if... Uh, like, probably the funniest thing to me to think about is, like, imagine trying to do this in, like, Australia. Because down here, if in in a lawsuit, if you lose the suit that you, you attempt to do, or you just lose the suit in general, you have to pay the legal fees of the other party. It's, like, a massive way to make an attempt to disencourage defamation lawsuits and stuff along those lines. It doesn't quite work because, you know, rich people still do it. It's just what it is. But, you know, it's a system that's meant to attempt to disencourage you from doing that because if you lose, you also have to... You not only have to pay your legal fees, you pay the legal fees of the person who won. So that's a lot of money out of your pocket. And... uh, Look, recording her in her backyard is one of those things where I think on the technicality, they do have a reasonable belief of privacy in their backyard. When you're screaming and shouting out of it to people who are outside of your backyard, and then they start recording you because of that, and I think you lose that reasonable privacy a little bit there, and then depending on the state, there's also just... Some states have a two-party consent law where both parties have to be agree to record in a private setting, but most of them tend to be a one-party, where only one person needs to consent to recording something in a private setting, and in that case, they're fine here anyway, because, you know, the person recording would be consenting to the recording. Otherwise, why would she be recording? <laughs> Either way, what an insane person. Here's our friendly neighborhood Karen going off again. Your neighbor. Hi. I'm gonna make sure your dog's okay. Is your dog okay? Okay. It sounds like it's in distress. It just keeps barking. I mean. You mean what? I mean, it's just, it's just now because. Uh, no, it's all night. It keeps barking. Shut it up. I do think it's fair to say that I wouldn't particularly call her Karen for complaining about a dog that apparently is barking all night. I agree, that is definitely an annoyance and a very big issue that happens occasionally over here or where I live. There will be sometimes, like, the few occasions where people have moved in, their dogs will go off nonsensically for, like, the first many nights on end, but usually they tone down and only bark when people walk by, which is semi-common in this area, considering the, we back into a main street where people walk quite a lot. So, but dogs barking is a normal thing to some degree. Yeah, it can get frustrating and annoying. From just listening to this clip here, the dog didn't bark 
that much from what I can tell until the Karen came into the yard and then it barked a little bit. Then when she knocked on the door, it started barking a lot because, you know, someone just knocked on the front door. And, like, I get the complaint of annoyingly loud dogs, annoying dogs that continue to bark endlessly. But, you know, there's a certain way you should do that. Like, hey, would you mind doing something about your dog? It's continuously barking all night. It makes it difficult to sleep. It's appreciated if you find a way to try and stop it from barking so much. But no, instead she comes in going like, Is your dog in distress? I'm just checking to make sure your dog's okay because it sounds like it's in distress. Okay, well you need to learn to shut your dog up and walks away. Like, that's just... Wow. In this clip, we got a savior who decides to uh, be a kind of Samaritan and help these cops out to understand the full story of what happened so they don't arrest the wrong person. It was those people going after him. I saw that. Yes. I saw that. There were people going after you, and they went at the cops went after you and not the other white guys. I saw that. You, you were the one that was being accosted. There was a couple like white guys over there that were going after him. They got out of his vehicle and he was trying to back away. Oh, one of these cops actually believed the white guy when they said this guy was the one in the fucking wrong. That's what fucking happened. Okay, well you're not gonna contribute positively. I don't give a shit. Okay, we're injecting things in. Yeah, why didn't you pull up the pull over the other guys that were part of it? We're done. Okay, good. I told you what happened. I told you what happened. This guy was accosted by other people, and he was the one that was pulled. That clip is one massive yikes from me. I'm not even 100% sure how to really process that. Like, that's just a massive failing in the cops there in general. Like, surely, if you don't know exactly what's happening and both and both sides are accusing the other of causing problems, surely you would just arrest them both so you can deal with this, not just let one guy free and then arrest the other guy. Like, that doesn't even make sense in any regard whatsoever. Like, why would you even... What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm lost. Here we have a pair of Karens who decide to order a lot of food, and when they decide not to eat it, attempt to leave without paying for it. Pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. Because why do we have to even deal with this Look how much food you guys got. ordered so much and you're gonna leave without paying? Without paying? You still ordered it. They still cooked your food. You still left without paying. You still left without paying. You came up to us. Because your video recording. For them, for their protection. Okay. Go, pay them and leave. Ladies, let's just take care of it. You guys pay them and leave. And You're nice. Pay, pay them and leave. Pay them and leave. That really makes Forever. sense why you guys look like that. Like, that's very rude. Really okay, pay well them and leave. Okay. Trash. So no, we're not trash. More trash. Pay them and leave. Trash. The fact that you're video recording and like, just go trash. and buy. Go and pay. Literally soft. You're still talking. Go pay them and leave. What we're doing doesn't concern you. Go pay. It does girl. because I'm on video. Go so pay. And what? Just because you're not going to eat all the food doesn't mean you get to leave without paying for it. That's not how the world works, sweetie. They've already spent the time, money, and effort to actually prep and make this food for you. It's not their fault that you chose not to eat it after ordering all that. You still got to pay the price for it or being prepared for you. Here we go to Karen who's extremely upset about something that occurred through the drive-thru for some reason or another. Anyway, she's holding up the line by arguing with one of the drive-thru workers and the person behind her decides to start recording her and then pokes fun at her. You're holding up the line there, Karen! Shut the f*** up, you f***ing bitch! Record me all you want to! You've got spit on you! Oh no, Karen! Is that saliva out your mouth there, Karen? <laughs> No, Karen, you're holding up the line. I need my chicken and my McNuggets. Get out the line there, Karen. I'm gonna need my McChicken, my fries, and my drink. Get out the way there, Karen. Shut up, you bitch. Oh, shit. Stop that, Karen. I need my food to get more fatter, Karen. Watch out the way there, Karen. No, Karen, you're holding up the line there, Karen. Yeah, get out of here now, Karen. Thank you very much there for that. You're the f Karen in my business, you stupid bitch. 
four, four and on with those gun fingers there, Karen. All right, Karen. Man, I just love people like this. It's just like, oh yeah, oh my god, it's a Karen. Let me just poke, poke the bear. Let's see how hard I can poke the bear without it killing me, basically. <laughs> oh man, she goes off her head. She's obviously had a bad day of something or ate something horrible. Like something's not going her way right now. And this person just poking her is peeving her right off. She's going right up aisle nine with that anger. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a yet another Karen who does not know how to be patient decides to cut in line. When she gets called out for it, she decides to become extremely racist. Luckily, the person behind the camera who's been who's being caught under this racist fire gets a lot of defense from multiple people in the store at the time. Hello. I asked her to step away from my son. She no, she's she not. She just told her to go back to your country. Why is she so mad at her? That's a fuck. But she's just talking. No, she's not. She's telling her to go back to her country. What are you talking Because she's coming for us like a headcuff, whatever that thing is. And you're going and telling her what you're doing. You don't gotta talk like that, though. She's not telling you. I know she said, stay away from her son. That's all she said. She's asking you to give her son her son doesn't even have a mask. Wait, well, you know what? You're not telling anybody else. So get over yourself. Why no, the you? whole point is that you have to be six feet away. She's and then you want to be racist. Stop, stop, stop. You're just being crazy. No, we're not. No, you're, you're being the crazy one right here. Don't talk to her like that. Yeah, don't, don't be talking to her like that. Yeah, you know what? You, you go get over yourself. Yeah, don't be talking to her like that. Thank you. That's you you're, being, you're being crazy. Oh, can I ask you? Can I ask? I'm going to call the supervisor. Excuse me. Can I ask you why you hate me? Just because I'm wearing a headscarf? That's what you wanted, huh? What else do I need to do? I mean, what? I'm not doing anything wrong here. No, no, no. I'm actually. I'm not doing anything wrong here. It's just a f***ing listener who thinks she's privileged. No. I'm not going to talk to her like that, though. I didn't. I don't know why you hate me. I didn't do anything. Thank you. Yeah, I'm okay. Give some water. Why are people so horrible? Well, like, like, genuinely speaking, why is the first thing that goes through this person's mind when they get caught out for attempting to cut the line is to just be racist? What is the entire point of that? That makes no sense whatsoever. Like, that's not going to help your case in any way, shape, or form. As you can clearly see here, everyone else around you is just like, what the hell are you thinking? W what was the necessity of that? Why do you need to be racist? Like, what was the point? Uh, it's a genuine what the moment to me. It's like, why are people like this? Karen did an online order to their local subway and decided to, when they go in, to wait in the long line for other people who are waiting to make their orders done. Even though with the online order she just meant to go straight up to the register and they usually would have it ready. Anyway, when she gets up to the front she complains about how she hasn't gotten her food immediately and she had to wait through everyone else in spite of ordering online and well this happens. <laughs> Is that your sandwich? No, it's not, ma'am. Oh. Okay, well, you okay. it's not, ma'am. Continue, Gavin. Yeah, 
Okay, just thank thank you. Very well, What's the yep. point of ordering thank online you. if it's not ready? It, it says online order. You, you should have been here instead of waiting in line. I you should probably have said. Well, you have an off and maybe you're saying you're just because you're being rude to the wait staff. Everybody just call in the morning at 8 and talk to Gavin's manager and say that we were witnesses. Sure will. There's a bunch of bullies. You tried to bully. Yeah, that's what she did. You gotta love how all the customers that are there are just like, ah, what in the world are you on about? Ah, this is, this, we've all just been waiting in line. You could have just gone up this way. Like, it's just funny watching all the customers be on the same side as the worker and just like, just leave the worker alone. There's only two people at this subway currently. Things are gonna be slow. But even then, the online order's been sitting there waiting for a hot minute now, which is hilarious. <laughs> In this next clip, we got a Karen who cut in line because she's not a fan of big fuck off trucks. You couldn't just wait in line? Well, you were taking forever. Your super truck is this big. I mean, why is your truck that big? But you cut me in line. It doesn't matter. I, I would have been in there for you first, but your truck is right here. It should be illegal. It should be illegal to have a truck this big. What, 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 for, for what? I got you gotta love how that clip ended. It's just like she turns around, it looks like she either preps for a punch or goes for a punch, and then the TikTok sound effect comes on. It's like, why'd the clip end there? Clearly, there's I don't even know what happened there. Okay, I think I should make one thing clear. I'm not a fan of people with people having those big fuck off trucks because to me, I don't see why you need one as a vehicle that fucking big. Not only does it cost more fuel to run, so you're burning more fucking money by using it, those type of vehicles literally kill kill more people than any other smaller vehicle. You can probably get the same amount of space with a smaller ute, a, a smaller vehicle with a nice big tray. I mean, a lot of people use vans for that type of thing nowadays because they store more. But uh, either way, just because you don't like the big fuck off truck doesn't mean you cut in front of the big fuck off truck. In fact, I would say that's a very uh, bad decision because the big fuck off truck can't usually see over his hood if you're directly in front of him, so you might get yourself ran over. In this clip, we've got a Karen who's attempting to get a pair of scooters for cheaper than what was initially offered, and when she doesn't get her way, decides to resort to violence. I'm a female. I'm a female. You need to watch your behavior. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. I don't give a who you are. I'm the officer of the army, you know? See that? Shut it up. You can't see everything. That's a 25. That's a 25. How much for this one? You told me 25 for both of them. 25. No, I'm going to call the cops. You can't. And you can't step outside this car. Honey, come here. No. Let go of me. No, I filmed everything. I have a proof. Call you are a I know I will pay for it. Leave here, leave here. Let go. Leave here. Don't do that. Don't do that. Watch out. That's a stealing. That's a stealing. I'm not stealing. You steal me now. You steal, okay? You steal now. That's so oh, bad. You're touching me good. You're That's so bad. Good. I'm glad you touched me. That's so now bad. Now I'm gonna press charges. Don't ever oh. touch me. You got me up. Don't ever touch me. Don't ever touch me. Come down, come down, come down. No worries. I have a, I have a proof. I have a proof. You can, you guys can come, 
Call police, man. No worry, no worry. You know, I want to question what's going through the kid's mind right now. Watching her mother absolutely go crazy over these pair of scooters, trying to steal them out of their hands, trying to kick these people, trying to do all these random things, and then when she still doesn't get her way, throws the drinks at them whilst being recorded. I, I, I just want to question, like, why do people think this is ever a good idea, and why do it in front of your kids? Oh, they probably don't care enough to even think about those consequences. Imagine walking into your local general dollar store and it turns out there's two Kevins just having a fight right at the registers for some reason that it's not really easy to understand or explain. Well, that's the reality of this guy's clip. Hey, bro. No, I'm for not no crazy. Reason. If you want to see crazy, no I'm deep crazy. For no reason, bro. So like no I said, reason. I was sitting right there. For I was no right reason, right with that young lady was right for over no here. For no reason, bro. Get your it's stuff. It's called social distancing. Get your so stuff. You need get to understand. Stuff. Get your stuff, bro. Cause you sound crazy. Get away from me. How about that? Get, get away, away from, from you. Get away from me before I call the cops on you. Call the cops. Mm -hmm. call Don't em. try to play one with me. Call them. Don't try to play one call with me. Call them. I'm a dead veteran. Call them. And? Call them. Am I supposed to get them? Call them. Don't try to play I'm, one I'm with me. I'm from PTSD, boy. I don't call care. Em. I'm from New Jersey. Call them, boy. I'm from New Jersey. I'm from New York. What that mean? That don't mean nothing to me. All right, then shut up with me. I'm from the hood. Don't try to play one with me. Go to go to Jersey City in New York. I know how it is on the street. your shit and go. Don't try to tell me what to do. You get away from me. Get your shit and go. Don't try to tell me what to do. Man, get your stuff and go. You get your stuff and get up out of here. Don't try to tell me what to do. I was here first. Man, shut up. I'm a wee bit lost in the source on this one. <laughs> I, I'm not 100% sure why they're arguing here. I, I tried to listen to the conversation and try to understand why the source started, but ultimately I can't really find or understand why this argument started in the first place. I mean, the argument started for some reason or another, and they're going on about this and that, and how one of them's a veteran, and how the other guy is from the hood, or something on those lines. It just don't make sense, but hey, uh, they're having a good argument over there. <laughs> In this clip, this guy decided to rent out his Tesla for someone else to use because he wasn't actively using it at the time. And a little bit while later, he catches this guy pulling parts off of his Tesla in order to do who God knows what with it. When you let someone rent your car on Turo and they try to steal parts. That somebody's doing something to my car? I later found out they have a website that sells Tesla parts and exotic car parts. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing to my car? What are you doing to my car? Uh, I'm testing to something. You're testing something? Yeah. What are you testing? Uh, on the front bumper. Because it seems like you're replacing some stuff. Should I, should I be worried? Should I be calling the cops or? Excuse me? Should I be worried about this? Should I be calling the cops? Careful. Uh, I'm just testing some, some parts. Because I don't think this is allowed when you're renting out a car. You said it was for a trip. Yeah, I have a trip. I have gone, gone uh, oh, sorry, and come back for a test trip. For what? For a test field. Because I don't, you shouldn't be doing this, sir. Like this is this is against the rules and regulations of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. This is my first time. Yeah. So okay. All right. I I told her to call the cops. Okay. So right. I'm gonna have them come here to see what's going on. Okay. Um. I'm gonna want my car back today. Okay, I put it back. If not, it's gonna be like a, a bigger charge. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Is there any batteries that you replaced? Uh, no, I'm I didn't have... replace. I'm just testing the bumpers. Testing the bumpers? Yeah. But you shouldn't be doing that. That's not your car. Yeah, I, 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 I just won't borrow it. Well, why are you taking it out? It's not your car. Yeah. Yeah, or, yeah. or you should have let me know, you know? Okay. You should at least let me know so I, I'm aware of what's going on. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Because for sure I'm going to have, I'm going to need this replaced, like back, and I'm going to need my car today. Okay, what time? Okay. Uh, I can probably have it back like about two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Okay. We're going to be here. We're going to be here. We're not going to leave. Okay, all right, sure. So we want it back, okay? okay? Yeah, no problem. All right. Thank you. Sorry about that. Yeah. 
Testing the bumper. Y yeah, right. Well, what are you testing the bumper for? Why? What? What test to the bumper are you doing that requires you to detach it from the car itself? And ha like, like, wh ha what? I'm sorry, but that excuse just doesn't fly. Like, what are you doing, buddy? You've just been caught out doing some. Like, I don't get why people are like this. This is so confusing. Like, surely you'd have been caught a few times or you would have gotten yourself in some crap for this because it seems like this is just what they do. They they are uh, hire slash rent out exotic cars or Teslas, pull parts off of it and then sell them. Like, what's the point of even doing that? You, you've got to return these vehicles at some point and people will notice that certain things are now not as what they should be. Like, what? Casually racist neighbors having a fight with their neighbor. Hey! My daughter told him not to come over here. Period. We're not trying to start crap. We're neighbors. Come on. Crap happens. Just leave him alone. Maybe take care of your child. This is between us. Because you're the homeowner, right? Yeah. It's fine. Go back to Mexico. Hey, next time I hope he gets him in the neck. Hey, come on. Come on to my property. Come on. That's my thought. Pussies. Why don't you guys just go inside? I love people like that who are just come out with some form of threat. They either come out with their gun, come out with an aggressive animal, or one of various different things and tell someone to come over to their yard right now. And then when the person doesn't, they say, ah, that's right, you're a pussy. You're too scared to do that. Ha 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 ha. It's like... You totally didn't just bring out a weapon of some form or didn't bring out a dog that is clearly going to be sent to bite us. You're totally not just going to be nice and not cause your cause a scuffle if they do step on your yard. No, no, you're just going to immediately let go of the dog and let the dog haul maul the guy. Like, that's legitimately what this guy would have done. And I don't get what the point is. It's like, ha see, you won't. Gotcha there. You're too scared. It's like, no shit, no one's going to do that because you just, it's like, do you not put two and two together? You come out with a gun or you come out with a dog and threaten to have the dog sick on you? It's like, what the f*** is that? What do you think's gonna happen? They're gonna actually go on your lawn after you're being like that? No, you idiot.